So let us consider these questions on our transformers we are given, still on our uh, single phase transformers. Uh, that is uh, question number eight that you're gonna work with. So the first part you were given, auto transformers are used as voltage boosters to correct voltage drops in cables, which is very true. But the question is state two advantages of auto transformers. State two advantages of these auto transformers. So remember as auto transformers, they operate at higher frequency, uh, I mean at higher efficiency as normal transformers, we know they operate at a high efficiency. So that is an advantage that we gonna have to operate at a higher efficiency, operate at a higher efficiency. Okay. So we also consider they are small in size, so smaller in size. Then we also consider the cost, that is they cost less, all right? That is in terms of the cost, they cost less since they require less copper. There are so many things that you can have. Uh, they've got a better voltage regulation, all right, than a two winding. Uh, transformers that we are used to. So you can also consider that any two was uh, gonna be fine from that. 8.2, we are given a 7,5. Tech note, what are you given? Kilovolt ampere, that is KVA, meaning to say we are given the rating of the transformer. We are given the rating from there, the KVA, which is great, which is 7,5. Uh, kilovolt ampere single phase that's a single phase so be careful because you also have another type of equation where you're going to work with a three phase transformer so it has got uh, 500 turns on the primary side and 1500 on the secondary so on the primary side the tens number of tens that is 500 uh, on the secondary we've got 1500 tens if the transformer is connected, it is connected to, this is the supply. So that is the V1 at the supply from the input side. So that is 240 volts. Calculate the following 8.21, the current uh, flowing through the primary winding. So what is the current that is gonna be on the primary winding? We do not have a condition where we've got uh, this N1, N2, then we have got I2 that we can use. If we if we're given that, you are going to consider. But as you can see, they also need you to calculate the current in the second and later on. So we cannot use this relationship that we consider in terms of the voltage V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2, which is equal to I2 over I1. Remember, I talked about this relationship. We do not have i2 so we can't calculate i1 so meaning say this formula for now is limited does not mean this formula is wrong no the formula is correct but it's limited to the information that we're given so what can we consider all right there is a rating remember i talked about the rating that we can calculate this rating of the transformer which is the kva rating that we can uh, have from the voltage times current. So if you consider the primary is gonna be V1, I1. It's the primary. If it is the secondary, it's gonna be V2, I2. In the secondary. But in this case, we are dealing with the primary. So in this case, instead of me just using this, I'm just gonna write VA. Uh, so we need current, so just gonna divide by V1, by V1. So that means we can calculate our current from the volt ampere that we are given. Uh, that is 7,5 times 10 to the power of 3 divided to the voltage that you are given in the primary of 240. So you must be very careful on the formula that you are going to work with. So that was going to give us 31,25 amps. All right. Let us consider the other part of the question, which is 8.2 to the secondary voltage 
on an open circuit. Secondary voltage that you're going to consider. So again, you can consider the formula now because we have got uh, I1, we have got uh, N1 and N2 before, and we've got uh, the v, uh, V1. So this, we can use our formula. There's no, there's no limit in this case, all right? So 8.22, you can go back to the formula. Remember, we can use this. That is V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2. We are given V1, that is 240. We need to calculate V2. Remember, that is our question. This is equal to N1, which is 500 over N2, which is 1,500 from what we are given. So that we can calculate our v2 so cross multiply that is v2 times 500 that's 500 v2 then 1500 is going to multiply uh 240 so dividing by 500 both sides you are going to obtain uh the value of v2 that is 240 times this over 500 this was going to give you uh 720 volts so this is the voltage that you have at open circuit uh, on the output that you are given. All right, then you are given on uh, 8.23, the current through the secondary winding during uh, the full load. So at full load, what is going to be the current uh, on the secondary, which is we are talking about I2 in this case. All right, so uh, we can consider because we've got I1, remember? So this time you can use any formula. You can even use, uh, because you have also you have V2, you can consider uh, working with the rating of the transformer. You can work with whatever that you want. We can also go back to this formula, whatever that you want, you can obtain uh, this current I2. All right, so like I said, I always prefer working with what I own already have like i'm already having this n1 and n2 so i can use that n1 over n2 is equal to i2 over i1 so n1 which is 500 over n2 which is 1500 this is equal to i2 which is the one that you want to calculate over i1 uh that is 31 comma 25 so what is it that you need to calculate we need to calculate i2 so we can Cross multiply, find this, that is 1,500 uh, times I2 is equal to the product of these two, that is 31,25 times 500. All right, so divide by 1,500, divide by 1,500. So this was going to give us uh, the value of I2 at a full load, and that was going to be 10,417 amps. So you can actually calculate these uh, from the formulas that you are given, guys. You can play around your formulas. All right. So there was 8.23, then an 8.24 you're given this time to calculate the power developed or the power delivered to the load in kilowatt if the power factor is 0.8. Uh, legging. So this is 8.24. Remember, this is a single phase. So the power is simply the voltage times the current. But since we've got the power factor, we are supposed to consider whether you are not given, you are supposed to calculate this power factor. You need uh, the power factor in this case to have the kilowatt power that you're given at a power factor that is leggy. So this is what you're going to consider. This is a single phase uh, on a three phase, meaning to say we must consider the square root of three when calculating the true power. So the question is, what are we have? Are we having these voltages on the secondary uh, side? Or you can even work with V1 and V2. Remember guys, this e even here, it represents this KVA. You can even use this one. The KVA, you can use it S, S times cos theta. Guys, whatever that you want. There are so many ways that you can actually attempt this. So in this case, uh, the question is, um, we just gonna substitute. We've got everything, the voltage. Uh, so like I said, it's gonna depend if you're using V2. Uh, V2 is one that we calculated, it was uh, 720. Okay, but we calculated this. 
Uh, but uh, in this case, I just have I2. So V2, but we calculated this. That was 720. Then I2, we got this. It was 10,417 times the cost of theta. That is your power factor in that case. So you're given uh, the power factor in this case at a power factor of what? At a power factor of uh, 0 0,8 legging. So you have got the power factor of uh, 0 0,8. So this gives us the power, but to convert this to a kilowatt, just like any other part, you're going to divide by 1,000. So the moment that you divide by 1,000, you're obtaining your answer in kilowatt. So this was going to be 6, 000 and so on. So this is approximately uh, 6 kilowatt. So you are obtaining uh, the exact power. Like I said, you can also use that uh, value that you already have for S. Remember, voltage times current it is giving us uh, the apparent power, which is the rating of the transformer. So you can also work with the rating of the transformer already. You have got the rating of the transformer in a kilo. So it's going to be 7,5 uh, times the cos uh, theta, which is 0, 0,8. So this can also give us uh, the same value that we are given. And remember that this value is in kilo, kilo, kilo volt ampere. So meaning to say you are obtaining the power in that case in what? In kilowatt. So you're going to obtain six already. It is in kilo units. So meaning to say it is in kilowatts. So these are the typical questions. Know how to use your formulas. Like I said, you can also use the V1, I1, the cos of theta. This is the same as the S that you're given. These are your typical questions. More questions of this nature from Met Zone African Motives till we meet again.